you want to substitute the solved equation or expression into the other equation. Once you have done that, you have everything under one term. You want to find x or y, then use the answer into either or original equation to find the remaining variable. This we are about to demonstrate. First of all, let's agree that in the given equation or system of equations, the equation of 2x minus y equals 4 is simpler than the other equation of 5x plus 2y equals 17. And so we're going to choose 2x minus y equals 4 to solve for y. And so when choosing for, uh, when solving for y, we isolate the variable by subtracting 2x from both sides. And that gives us 4 minus 2x, which gives us negative y minus 2x plus 4. And then the second and last step for this process of isolating the y is to divide by negative 1. Once you have done that, you will take the expression of 2x minus 4 and plug it in to the other equation. That is, you will take it into 5x plus 2y equals 17. And so in this step, I'm highlighting the 2y because the y, 2x minus 4, will replace where the y is. And that step will look like this. Once you've set up this step, then you are going to distribute the 2 times 2x minus 4 and bring everything else down. Next, you're going to combine like terms. And after that, you're going to add 8, and finally, divide by 9. Thus giving you the exact answer of x equaling 25 over 9, or approximately 2.7. Since we have found the x, we are now going to find the y. Again, we go back to the original equation. And we want to take, again, the x value that we have found and plug it into the easier equation. Again, we will pick 2x minus y. We will take the x value and substitute it back into the first equation. That will look as follows. So again, 25 over 9 replaces the x. And then we multiply and get 50 over 9 minus y equals 4. Next, we can subtract 50 over 9 from both sides.
bring down my negative y to my next step, my equal symbol, my 4, my negative 50 over 9, and we will apply the rules of fractions next. Adding 4 minus 50 over 9, we would have to change the 4 onto terms of the denominator of 9. That is 36 over 9. 36 over 9 is the equivalent of 4. So now for my next step, I'm going to subtract 36 minus 50. And that is negative 14 over 9, or negative 14 ninths. Therefore, the final answer for y is a positive answer of 14 over 9. And if you want to know what the approximate answer is, then we can go ahead and use a calculator and say 14 divided by 9 equals about 1.5. Or, so y equals 1.55, or the exact answer, or preferred answer, 14 over 9. Hence, the solution of the system can be written as 25 over 9, and 14 over 9. Here is your answer.